Hey guys, just before I get into this video, if you do fancy picking up yourselves any Ultimate Team coins, then you can check out GameGoldTrader.com. Use CalFreezy at checkout. You will pick yourself up a 5% discount. They also do PSN and Xbox One codes over there. So uh, yeah, check all that stuff out and uh, enjoy the video, guys. What's going on guys and welcome back to FIFA 15's downgraded players. I know it's a sad moment. Nobody likes to see players get downgraded, but unfortunately the time has come where we're going to have to cover this subject at some point um, in the near future. And so today, first on the chopping block is your man Ashley Young. Now uh, I did tweet out, of course, guys, who do you think is going to be downgraded and to what rating? And uh, one of the common ones was in fact Ashley Young. There were a couple Manchester United players, but some of you guys got a little carried away with uh, a few of the players and uh, you know that's just that's just unnecessary really but let's take a look at Ashley Young his normal rating card is in fact 82 and I reckon that he could be downgraded to a 79 rated player he hasn't had all that much game time he hasn't really been that impressive um, and to be honest with you he just doesn't deserve that 82 rating I'm sure there'll be a few of you guys that agree with me um, I definitely think Yanazai is there to take over his spot and uh, Young really can't be too pleased with his recent performances so with that being said, guys, he has been downgraded to a 79. Jeff over here actually thinks that he should have been downgraded possibly to a 78, but I think a 79 will be decent because moving to an 82 all the way down to a 78 just because of one season, I think is a bit drastic, especially when uh, you know, he's still he's still a decent player as much as a few of you guys might like to disagree with that. I still think he's a decent player. It's just that uh, recently, he's been not, not up to scratch. So, uh, yeah, that's our very first player on the chopping block. Let's take a look at who's next. Second on our downgraded list is, in fact, your man Casillas. Now, Iker Casillas, he has been a quality goalkeeper in the past, but unfortunately, this season, he wasn't the preferred goalkeeper. Admittedly, he did play plenty in the uh, Champions League, but that was about it. He only had two appearances in the uh, La Liga, and, of course, he was Spain's goalkeeper, and if I'm honest with you, he wasn't that convincing when he played for Spain, and, uh, yeah, it was just not a great season for Iker Casillas, and I think we all have to expect some form of a downgrade. I don't know whether it will be as drastic as an 83. It might go down to 84, but I definitely think he is expected to get a downgrade, which is a real shame because I remember Casillas when he was, you know, it really in his prime, just saving everything. He was unstoppable. He was absolutely incredible. But unfortunately, I think those times are coming to an end. And like I said, he isn't the preferred goalkeeper at Real Madrid anymore. And it's certainly sad times. And uh, Aguner actually agrees with me, although he does have, have a Xavi in there. We're just taking a look at Casillas for now and uh, yeah we definitely have him on the chopping block for some form of a downgrade let me know guys by the way where do you think these players will get downgraded to I want to hear your versions because that's what's a part of the fun is the discussion about this sort of thing so uh, make sure you discuss with other people in the comments and stuff don't be a dickhead and don't start going mad just uh, post your opinion I'd love to hear it and that is going to wrap it up for our man Casillas let's take a look at the next one Next up is none other than your man Nando, big Nando Torres over here. So, um, Fernando Torres has kind of been a bit of a weird uh, player because honestly, at Liverpool, you would have thought he would have been climbing his way up, on his way to become a great player. He moves to Chelsea, things kind of take a turn for the worst. He doesn't do so good. His rating on FIFA kind of stagnates as well. It's not looking so good. And to be honest with you, it doesn't look like he is going to have a great season coming up. I mean, uh, Chelsea looking to bring in Diego Costa as well and that should be really interesting when that happens because I'm not too sure what Torres is going to do. Is he going to make a move? I have no idea. Um, this season he had 16 appearances, 5 goals, 5 assists, 3 yellow cards and 1 red card. I mean that's just not good enough and uh, his current card is 82 rated. It wouldn't surprise me if he gets downgraded to 80 rating and uh, I don't know about you but uh, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on the Torres situation. I think it's really interesting because I, I don't know what I would do if I were EA. Would I downgrade him? Would I leave him at 82? I'm not too sure. I don't think he's proven enough to be continue at that 82 rating. I think 80 is about right. Let me know guys down below. What do you think should happen with Torres? I think it's certainly an interesting sort of uh, piece but let me know down in the comments below. So that's it for uh, Nando, and I appreciate the Doge Master for tweeting that at me and uh, reminding me that Torres really hasn't had the best few seasons at Chelsea. 
Big Soldado is next. Now, Soldado, of course, is another Premier League player. I understand we've had a few Premier League players in a row here. And uh, I would like to hear uh, more of you guys who possibly watch more of the foreign football. Or not foreign football, but, uh, you know, the the Serie A, the Bundesliga, the La Liga, things like that. Because I do tend to watch uh, some of the other games, but I don't watch them as religiously as I know some of you guys out there do. I know I've got quite a few German fans out there as well. So I'm sure you guys will be let, let me know uh, a little bit more about the Bundesliga. Bundesliga and who you think should be getting a downgrade over there uh, let me know please down in the comments so anyways we're here to talk about Soldado and Matthew actually leaves a fan uh, gives me a fantastic tweet he says Soldado to get a massive downgrade only a few EPL goals for Spurs last season overall slow lazy and lack skill and he reckons he's going down to an 80 overall Matthew brings up some uh, very good points there, but again, I think people are just uh, being a little too drastic with these downgrades. You know, for Soldado to go from an 84 to an 80, just over one FIFA seems a little bit extreme. It is very possible, but I don't think EA would go that far to make that happen. So I think maybe a downgrade to 82 could be quite reasonable, and I think that would uh, definitely be something that I would expect. And uh, yeah, Soldado really hasn't been uh, up to scratch, or at least what uh, people expect, but sometimes uh, players take a couple seasons to adjust Soldado could be that player and uh, who knows next uh, season he could be firing on all cylinders and prove is completely wrong and then next FIFA he ends up 90 rated <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing with you guys but you guys know what I mean um, it's really it's a really weird situation when it comes to downgrading players because just because they had one bad season they might get a little bit of a downgrade and then next season they just go off on one and then EA are left there looking a bit like mugs for downgrading the player so uh, yeah that's a little interesting uh, situation that EA are in Anyways, let's move on to the next player, and that player is Xavi. Now, this really kills me to talk about Xavi, because Xavi, for me, I was kind of, you know, it, it, when I watched a lot of football, he was just so, so dominant in midfield. Him and Iniesta were just incredible in the midfield, and it really sucks to see Xavi looking possibly to leave Barcelona. A lot of rumors saying he's off to a Quatari club, and uh, that that really upsets me, you know. I didn't want to uh, change his badge, by the way, just for the sake of that, um, because uh, I don't know which club he's exactly off to, so for now, I just kept his Barcelona badge, but it looks like he could be getting a downgrade. He's just not that forced that he was um, back when him and Iniesta just used to run any midfield whichever way they wanted so um, it is a really sad time to see and I think 86 rated is quite good a uh, Silva over here reckons he could go down to an 85 and I don't know let me know what what do you guys think about Xavi do you think he'll go down to an 85 personally he's an 89 right now and I just don't want to see him go too far down because he's such a quality player and uh, you know he's a really well respected player as well and I'd like to see him keep you know some form of rating in FIFA I understand he probably will get a downgrade but let's hope it's not too big of a downgrade I think 86 is a uh, sort of a rating that is kind of fair and balanced, but at the end of the day, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about Xavi's rating. So let's move on to the next player. The next player is the Manchester United, or former Manchester United player, I should say, Vidic. Now, Nemanja Vidic here, he has been one of the highest rated center backs in FIFA for quite a while now. You know, there's no doubt about it. He has been highly rated on EA's radar for a while. He was 87 this FIFA. I believe he was 87 last FIFA as well. You know, he's been a high rated center back and I think it's time that it was brought down a little bit because he, he hasn't been playing much for Manchester United and he has recently moved over to Inter Milan. Um, I believe it was on a free, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was on a free. And uh, it looks like he's going to be spending quite a, l a little while over at Inter Milan. And I think an 84 rating is pretty reasonable. And uh, as you can see, Mark over here reckons that Vidic will be downgraded to an 83, um, 84 rating. Sorry, I just had to double check that. So sorry if I got a little bit louder there. But uh, yeah, Vidic... I'm sorry, man, but I think your time as one of the top center backs in FIFA is coming to an end, my man, and it's, you're going to be downgraded, but I think it will probably be to about an 84, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, as always. So, if you guys would be so kind enough to, in the comments, list every player that we've gone through here, and simply go ahead and just give me uh, your rating, and if you can give me a reason why, that would be so much better, and uh, I'll take a look at it for next video, and possibly we can revise some of this stuff if we were completely off the mark. So, uh, I appreciate 
appreciate that, guys. And uh, now, last but not least, of course, we got this cheeky chappy who decided to throw in a bit of a joke. Gerard, he's going to go down to a 79 because of his zero balance. And that's just, that is a kick in the balls to me. Being a Liverpool fan, that is a right kick in the balls. But, you know, I had to, I had to appreciate someone who's quick on the ball. And uh, there's been so many Gerard jokes recently. I'm really struggling to keep up with all of them. But, uh, yeah, we have that one. And then, of course, this one as well. Um, you know, the only thing that will be downgraded is the quality of your life by uh, playing FIFA 15. So, what a fantastic and happy ending to this video, guys. Hope you did all enjoy it. And if you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. And uh, I hope to see you guys around. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.